So let's do some preventative maintenance. I've got my Smith Corona Silent. Draw band still works, but it's, you know, 1934 old. I want to change it. Okay, so what I do on this type, uh, first off, I, I do this sideways like this, but the way that has its mainspring, you can see here on this this uh, upside down one, the mainspring is actually the inside part, right, the small disc. This big shell on the outside is just that. It's just a shell for the drawstring to go around. See the black center? So you can skewer it. If you've got a good draw band, this applies. If yours is broke, you won't get to use this trick, unfortunately. But, camera in here. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to turn it that way a little bit, right, to get the draw band out. And I'm going to hold the mainspring, which is nice and oily at the moment. Okay. I'll grab it out of there quick. So there's a knot in it, of course. There. Now, I'm going to stick something. I got this rod that I, you want something stiff. Um, and you go through that hole, right through the outer ring, and bring it back slow, and that'll pin it in place. Okay? Now, I've, now what I've done is I've saved all my tension on the mainspring. Then I don't have to rewind the mainspring. That's what I'm getting at here. Now, you know, i got to measure this, but I can just pull it through. I've attached... I've got a used draw band. I'm just going to reuse it from something else. And I've attached the hook end. Let's take it out of here and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But what I would do is I would tie, if, if I wasn't, if I didn't have a way of getting it through there, I could just pull it through, tie it, tie it onto the old one, and just pull it right through. I still might do that. What the hell? So like here, if I, if I tie it onto here, I'm going to just use that hook. But uh, now I can stand it up on its end. All right. Get a rag under there. And over here we have the hook of the old draw band attached. So you got this little screw here. Don't take it all the way out. Just take it out like a turn and a half, two turns, whatever. Leave that screw there. Note the direction of the little hook end. Okay. I'm going to pull my new one through. Like so. Get that off there. Okay. So now I want to take a measurement of this. If I if I was to hold this up to a new piece of string, I could get the measurement. See how the end has a knot in it? It's fairly loose. That knot is what goes back in the mainspring to hold it as it goes around. So yeah, well here, let's just hook this on. I'll get I'll get a measurement a different way. But that's that's how you can pull one through if you don't have a uh, spring hook tool. So I'm just going to hook this on here under that screw. allowing me to do much here. Come on. There we go. Jeez. There we go. Because it's a used robin, it had a big knot in the end to contend with. Alright, I'm going to pull 
pull that taut, tighten that in. There we go. Yeah, that's tight. Alright, so now, let's get it back this way. So we had from about the end of the draw, from about the end of the carriage, there, over to here. So let's put the knot right about here. Alright, like I just held it up uh, like this. I figured, you know, we got the knot here, so let's put the knot right about here in this uh, drawstring that I'm going to reuse. From, I don't know what I took this one off, but it really doesn't matter. There. See, I've pulled a good knot here. Nice knot. Okay. Now we just put it in the machine. I gotta cut that off. Yeah. It's got uh, it's a bit long. There. So I got some some garbage from the old one there. All right. So now getting that knot into that hole isn't really that hard. You just uh, hold the main the, the mainspring, remove your uh, whatever you had holding the thing under tension. That way you don't have to rewind it. Okay. Now you have to feed that knot into that hole. Sometimes that goes easy. I got all these little hook tools, so all right. And we're in the hole. Now you're just going to let that off easy so that it can wind onto the spring drum like that. And if we're lucky, now I've, I, oh yeah, I moved the margins all the way to the ends so I could move the carriage over like that. But being that it's all the way at its end, as long as this walks all the way down under good tension. Trying to keep this in frame. And we'll get this finger out of the way. What more could you ask for? There we go. Yeah, she's good. So that's how you can do one when you have. We got tab. Perfect. I'm going to say that's gold. That's how you keep it under tension. Have a good day, everybody.